What's up guys, my name is Ace, and as expected, the Jack Outlaw kit for the Bass B that just came this week, it already saw some pretty significant nerfs. And on top of this, the Longbow also finally saw some nerfs. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at this in great detail to see exactly what changed with both of these guns. And diving right in, let's have a look at the body multiplier changes that we saw with the Jack Outlaw kit. And this was a very drastic change. This aftermarket part no longer has a one-shot kill potential anywhere in the body. It will only one-shot to the neck or the head, and that range hasn't changed at all. That's still 55.9 meters. So still really effective if you're getting those headshots consistently. But now it's gonna be a two to three shot kill depending on the range and which part of the body you're shooting at. And this drastically affects how this gun performs. Now it is worth noting, if you keep yourself within 37.8 meters, it's never going to take you more than two shots to kill against enemy players, so you're still going to get a very consistent two-shot kill within the vast majority of gunfights you should find on these 6v6 maps in this game. But like I said, no more one-shot kill potential, and on top of this, they removed the really nice bullet velocity boost that we used to get with this kit. Previously, our bullet velocity while using this was 1185 meters per second. Now, it's the same as the base Bass B at 790 meters per second, which is honestly still a great bullet velocity, and within the effective ranges of this gun, you probably won't even notice a difference in this area. And after seeing those changes, you might immediately think that this outlaw kit is now completely useless in this game. And it would be if they didn't also alter the fire rate. And we actually saw some pretty notable buffs to our fire rate. And something I actually missed on my initial breakdown of the Jack Outlaw kit, but I left a pinned comment there, is we get a different rate of fire if we're hip firing versus aiming down sights or in tack stance. And also just a little reminder here, the in-game stated stats are still not really representative of what you actually experience in game. So I'm sharing the actual rate of fire values you will experience. And in hip fire, pre-patch, this was 143 rounds per minute, whereas post-patch, it's now 198 rounds per minute. And you can see here, you can spam that pretty quickly. And also in hip fire, you can just hold down the trigger and it will fire in full auto. Whereas that doesn't work the same when you're aiming down sights. But what this means for our two-shot time to kill potential is pre-patch, this was 420 milliseconds, which isn't really all that competitive at all for this game. Whereas post-patch, it's now 303 milliseconds when hip-firing, which is much more competitive assuming those two shots hit. But of course, we're hip-firing, so it is a little bit of a guessing game at that point. But now let's have a look at our rate of fire when aiming down sight or in tack stance. Pre-patch, this was just 97 rounds per minute. Whereas post-patch, it's now 132 rounds per minute, meaning our new two-shot time to kill potential while aiming down sight is 455 milliseconds, which is not very good in this game. You'll very likely struggle to win gunfights with that kind of a time to kill against most normal guns in the game. And therefore, now you really want to try to get that headshot kill or just take peak shots, like peek out of cover, take your first shot, wait till it rechambers, and then you can peek out of cover again. So, so far, it's really not looking too good for this Jack Outlaw kit. However, there were a couple other nerfs to this, and these were to our flinch resistance. When it comes to the Jack Outlaw kit without any other attachments, pre-patch, our flinch was 0.17 newtons, and post-patch is now 0.23 newtons. Still not that bad at all. It's generally not going to flinch you off target within the effective ranges of this gun. However, they also nerfed flinch even more when using the sawed off stock mod. Pre-patch, your flinch value was 0.21 newtons and post-patch is now 0.54 newtons, which is significantly worse. And that's actually enough flinch added that I'll probably be taking off that stockless mod on most of my setups for this. And there we go. That wraps it up for all of the adjustments to the Jack Outlaw kit for the Bass B. And I've got to say, it seems they've pretty much destroyed this gun. It went from being pretty overpowered, I definitely pictured some nerfs coming to this at some point in the near future after it was added. So I wasn't surprised to see nerfs, but I was a bit surprised to see just how much they nerfed this. They fundamentally changed how it works, so it's no longer a one-shot kill to the body. And even though they did buff that rate of fire, I honestly don't think that was enough to make up for the fact that this is now a two-shot kill with no one-shot kill potential to the body. Now, if they made the aim down sight rate of fire the same as our hip fire rate of fire that we've got post-patch, I think that would be a lot more reasonable because then at least our time to kill potential would be in the realm of being competitive. It wouldn't be way too fast or anything. You'd still get outgunned by a lot of SMGs and assault rifles up close, but at least you could kind of somewhat hold your own with a two-shot kill. Whereas as it is right now, unless you're hip firing, your time to kill is not even close to competitive, and this gun's not that great at hip firing for a two-shot kill. So unfortunately, based on what I'm seeing here with the Jack Outlaw kit, unless you're getting headshots, it's just not really worth using anymore. 
However, that wasn't the only gun that was adjusted. We also saw some nerfs to the longbow, and I'm so glad they made the one big nerf that I suggested last week and I was really hoping they would consider. And this is a nerf to aim assist with the longbow specifically, because pre-patch, the longbow had the same aim assist as regular guns in this game, like as an assault rifle or a marksman rifle, for instance. Meaning from the hip, unlike other sniper rifles, we actually had aim assist, both aim assist slowdown as well as rotational aim assist. Whereas post-patch, the longbow gets no aim assist whatsoever when you're in hip fire. And then on top of this, when you were aiming down sight pre-patch with the longbow, the aim assist was stronger than what we saw with the other sniper rifles, whereas now that has been equalized, and it's that much weaker version of aim assist that we see with the regular sniper rifles. And I think this is just going to make hitting shots with a longbow using a controller a lot more skill-based. It's going to require a lot more effort, a lot more skill, especially in those close quarter situations with tons of movement. That rotational aim assist in hip fire just doesn't exist anymore. And I think that was an excellent adjustment. However, that's not the only thing they did. They actually did the other thing I suggested, which is increasing the amount of flinch that you experience when you get shot while using the longbow. And they actually did exactly what I suggested here. Pre-patch, we had 0.75 newtons of flinch resistance, and post-patch, it's now one newton, which is now tied with the KV inhibitor as being the worst in the sniper rifle category. And I think that's great since with the longbow, you're generally using it in more close quarter situations. And in close quarters, you need a whole lot of flinch in order to actually flinch somebody off target. So I'm happy to see this, and this may actually result in some adjustments to the builds that you want to create as well. That no stock attachment used to be a staple with the longbow, whereas now, since that's harming your flinch resistance and the base flinch resistance is so much worse, you may want to swap that out for something else. Now on that note of flinch, we're talking about our flinch resistance or how much flinch we experience when the longbow is in our hand. That was nerfed. However, there was actually a very slight buff here as well, and this is to the amount of flinch that you deal to enemy players with the longbow. Pre-patch, this was 0.8 newtons. Post-patch, this is now 1.7 newtons. So quite a bit more flinch dealt to enemy players. And I think that's totally fair as well. If you don't get that one shot kill on an enemy player and you get a hit marker, you're now gonna be causing them to flinch a lot more. So that gives you possibly a chance to get a second shot off, but it's not like a guarantee or anything. It just sort of gives you a chance. And in general, I'm actually really happy to see what they did with the longbow here, obviously. I mean, it's exactly what I asked them to do. So of course, I am happy to see they did exactly what I wanted them to do. But we'll just have to wait to see how that plays out. And that's pretty much it. That is gonna wrap it up for today's video on the nurse to that brand new Jack Outlaw kit for the Bass B, as well as the Longbow Sniper Rifle. Now, of course, this is where I'm really curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you guys feeling about the nurse to these two guns? Are you guys generally happy to see these adjustments? Do you think maybe they took some of them too far or not far enough? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.